everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am sorry that I haven't done videos in a little while. I've been a little crazy busy with the whole potty training a dog and a kid. Genevieve is officially fully potty trained. We still have a few accidents here and there but otherwise it's good. The um, reason I'm filming the specific video that I'm filming today is because one, that's what I have listed down on the menu for dinner and two, I received an I am from a friend of mine on Facebook who I've known since high school and she sent me this really long complicated recipe for chicken parm that probably had 37 steps that's an exaggeration but you get the picture it was ridiculous so I decided no 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 honey I will personally send this back to you this video in the I am so you can see my chicken parm because I've mixed so many different outlets to make the parm that I make today and it is always a hit I've never had a problem no one's ever not eaten it it's delicious and it's all my own I did take one thing from Tasty and that is that now I slice it open to make a little pocket out of the chicken and I stuff some mozzarella cheese in there because that's delicious for a long time I was actually slivering it up and making it into like chicken strips like it would be chicken strip parm but that was because the flavor would not really broach to the center of the chicken breast this the slit and the cheese lets the flavors get in there as well oh my god it's good you're gonna love this because it's another one of my extremely lazy extremely simple recipes I'm gonna change the angle so you can see what I'm doing and we're gonna get started I just my mug is tilted back because it's got little feet I wonder if I can show this to you my mug see that it's tilted on its feet sorry about the state of the counters um, I have been cleaning and it's been a lot of craziness I mean I'm going insane that's all now we're going to move on okay first things first I've got this nice pan and I've got this bottle I got this from Amazon I'll link it down below it's not gonna be an affiliate thing because I don't bring in enough people to do that but I'll just link it because I love it this just extra virgin olive oil from the jaw thing I, I always found that I would spray I would put too much if I just poured and spread but this just lets me do that and bam we've got ourselves a uh, grease pan I'm currently preheating my oven to 350 degrees that's 180 C I have four chicken breasts here I'm putting steady on the forehead what? I'm getting sweaty on the forehead you're getting sweaty on the forehead yeah okay don't roll away, don't roll away. Be nice. Eggies. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I got a whole bunch of dishes going. So I've got this plate to use to hold like the eggshells and stuff. We're going to start with the dry mixture, which is going to go in here. And I'm going to put in a half a cup of breadcrumbs. This is so easy, it's ridiculous. Bam. Bada bing. And now, because I believe in equal parts, half a cup of flour. There we go. I'm gonna go with one full teaspoon of garlic powder. Boom. It's gonna make it smell so good. A teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of summer savory. You don't have to do this one. This one's all me. Like I said, I've made this recipe kind of my own. That's half a teaspoon of summer savory. Half a teaspoon of pepper. I strongly suggest this one because it really does bring out the nice flavoring. And now if you can't do this one, go ahead and skip it because I know some people are allergic to peppers. So a half a teaspoon of paprika. I like to mix the dry ingredients first because I use the same little whisk because I've got this little like egg whisk. It's meant to be for eggs, but I use it for everything else because the logic, right? And I mix that together initially. Okay, now here's where the parm comes from, chicken parm. I'm going to toss in, um... We're going to add a quarter cup of parm. Now I just, I, I like to like break up the, because you know parm, it chunks up. That's done with that. 
that's got plenty of Parmesan cheese in it. It's got plenty of everything else. It's going to be a great flavor. Next, eggs. We're just going to crack eggs. three eggs. That's right, Brandon. Yeah. I'm a big plant save eggs. Yeah. I ah, see. that one just went blah. Well, luckily, it did okay. 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 So there's my wipe my hands off. And we just whisk the eggs. That, that looks like now, garbage. I know some people will toss like mayonnaise or, or cream into the egg mix. I don't. Next, we're going to move our little utensils out the way. And we're going to change the camera angle because I want you to see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And I totally want you to see my trash kitchen too. Thank you for being my little standy. I don't have a standy to help me set the camera up. Here you go. This my favorite chair. Stay right there, okay? Don't move it anymore. Just stay right there, it's just fine. Now, go ahead and stand because when he's standing on a chair, he's about my height. He's a little taller than me, actually. So now what we're gonna do, this is where things get gooey. 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 Those are eggs. This would be easier if I actually had somebody who could be my cameraman. But unfortunately, my husband is at work, so... Okay, the first things first is I'm going to put some of this cheese into a little bowl so I don't contaminate the entire bag. No. Oh, this one? No. Neither of those bowls is going to be your standard. We're going to use this one. Okay. Good. Oh, that's list. No, it's not Swiss, it's mozzarella. That's a lot of mozzarella. It's probably enough to be for the entire recipe, including the after step. So here's our mozzarella bowl. Now, Brandon, I'm gonna need you to back up just a little bit so people can see what we're doing here. Also, mommy's holding a knife. You don't want to get too close because I don't want you to get hurt. We're gonna kill. That's not likely to happen. And there, see, I just did a little slice and I've got a nice little pocket. Take a little bit of cheese, kind of spread it into the pocket, and then I just hold it closed while I dip it in. Then I dip it in the dry. And don't at me about a dry hand, wet hand, because that doesn't really stay that way. And then back in the wet, and then right into the pan. I probably should have sliced all of these before I did one, but we're gonna slice them all now and stuff them and then do the dipping. Time for a time lapse. My chickens are awfully interesting. Yeah. Oh, chicken. I don't know where my camera's angled now that she moved it, but I'm going to wash up a sec. I see you. What do you see? I'm dead. Mm -hmm. I see the thing like the ball. Hop down. Thank you. Okay, people can still see. Good. Smell. That's what it looks like. The and it looks a little gross. You gonna explain it to us? Yes. The cheese fits me here. Thin. I'm cracked. I'm huge. Okay. The cheese fits on my head. We're gonna put it up. But yeah, we're gonna put that in there. And it's gonna sit there for 30 minutes. And then I'll tell you what to do. Okay, bye. Okay. This is what it currently looks like. Now, it's been in here for 30 
minutes. We're just going to take some good old fashioned spaghetti sauce. And I like to spoon it over so I don't just go crazy. Although sometimes I also like to just go crazy. Put the lid back on that before I lose that lid. And now I'm just going to take the rest of that cheese. Sprinkle it over top. Oh yeah. There you go. Now we just push it back in. 15 more minutes. Here's the food. Just took the snap the thumbnail. It is so good. I'm gonna cut this open real quickly and then hold it up again. I really want you to just if I can do it without mangling. Ah, I mangled it. What's that? So right, see you can see the delicious cheese layer. And what I love about this is that it really incorporates the flavor all the way through. And I hated the fact that I made that sweet. Gosh, that just really irks me. It's perfect. They love it. They love it every time. So if you want a kid approved recipe, this is the one. This one is a shout out to Noelle. Thank you for actually giving me the idea to go ahead and do this video. Have a good one everyone. See you next time.